Everything else is the same. I leave it, keep it trapped in there, and then finish the armor. I just, we're just gonna add that variation in. Go ahead and explain what you're doing next. So I'm going to be rubbing at his wrist, wrist, feeding it to my armpit, clamping it down, and I'm still going to be reaching nice and far and grabbing on to his gear right here, pulling all of that slack out, keeping it nice and tight. Same side foot goes on the hip, keeping my knee nice and tight. Pivot off the low of my back, trying to look at his ear, and at the same time, I'm kicking my leg over his back. Throw the leg over, hips up. You have a couple of names for this. Uh, some people will call it like an uh, under the arm arm bar, under the armpit arm bar, shotgun arm bar, uh, Japanese arm bar, even like a thousand of those. Um, I don't know the fuck you remember it as. Just know that if you drag the arm all the way across and stuff it in your pocket, usually you can create a lot of leverage against the arm there. Especially if somebody's like stacking you through your guard or driving you to your guard. It's not a hard thing. So go ahead, like, let's do it like almost like semi live. So I want you to. I hit it like off of an arm drag and then pivot at the same time. So, arm drag pivot. Alright, so it looks something like that. Or how that looks good. Yeah, nope. Yeah. Alright. Now, I really just want you guys doing like maybe four to six, I would say only on your good side. Just go with whatever side you like pivoting on, tuck this in deep, get your pivot, execute slowly and get it nice and tight. Easy enough? Put it. 